Welcome to Innovative Instruments. Configurational Parameter for AI7941 To enter in configuration mode, press and hold set and up key simultaneously for 3 seconds after that lock code will appear. Default lock code is 15 to enter in configurational mode. Press up key to make unit digit 5. Press shift key once to move the cursor to next digit. Press up key to make unit digit 1. Lock code will appear as 15 press set key to enter in configurational parameters. Parameter 1, input type. This parameter value is set according connected sensor type. Thermocouple J type. Thermocouple K type. Thermocouple R type. Thermocouple S type. Thermocouple N type. Thermocouple T type. Thermocouple B type. PT 101 degree centigrade resolution. PT 100. 0 0.1 degree centigrade resolution. Parameter 2. Lower set point limit. Set the minimum limit for set point adjustment. It can be set from minimum specified range of selected sensor to HSPL value. Default LSPL value is a 0. Parameter 3. Higher set point limit. Set the maximum limit for set point adjustment. It can be set from LSPL value to maximum specified range of selected sensor. Default HSPL value is 400. Parameter 4. Process value offset. Function of this parameter is to add or subtract a constant value to the set process value to obtain final process value for control application. Default process offset value is a 0. Parameter 5. Input filter. Controller is equipped with an adaptive digital filter which is used to filter out any extraneous pulses on the process value. Default input filter value is 4. Parameter 6. Control mode. User can select between PID or on-off action algorithm to be adopted for output. Control mode as PID. Control mode as on-off. Parameter 7. Control logic. User can select cooling logic in which output 1 will remain on till process value more than set point. User can select heating logic in which output 1 will remain on till process value is less than set point. Parameter 8. Output type. User has to set this parameter very carefully in accordance with the output used. Select relay if load is connected via contactor. Select SSR if load is connected via SSR. Parameter 9. Overshoot control point. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. By default value of overshoot control point is disable. Disabling or setting overshoot control point parameter on lower side will increase the rate of rise of process value, which may cause overshoot. Setting overshoot control parameter on higher side will show down the rate of rise of process value to minimize overshoot this may cause delay to reach set point. Parameter 10. Auto-tune. If enabled, this parameter will be prompted if user press up and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. If disabled, this parameter will not be prompted if user press up and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. Parameter 11. Set point. If enabled, user can view and edit the set point in user list. If disabled, user can only view the set point but cannot edit it in user list. Parameter 12. User lock code. Default user lock code is 15 to access control and configuration list. Default user lock code value is 15. This is the last parameter of configurational mode. Press set key to enter in run mode. Control mode for AI7941. To enter in control mode, press and hold set and down key simultaneously for 3 seconds. Set this parameter to 15 to access control list. Parameter 1. Proportional band. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. Default value for proportional band is 
value of this parameter is automatically set by auto tune function parameter 2 integral time this parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. Default value for integral time is 240. Value of this parameter is automatically set by auto tune function. Parameter 3 Derivative time. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. Default value for derivative time is 60. If set to 0, this function will be disabled. Value of this parameter is automatically set by auto tune function. Parameter 4 Cycle time. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. Default cycle time value is 16.0 second for relay output and 1.0 second for SSR output. Parameter 5 Output power limit. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. Default value for output power limit is 100.0. This parameter will decide the maximum output power in percent applied to the load. Parameter 6. Tune offset. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. This parameter allows the user to carry out auto tuning function below the set point. Default value of tune offset is 100. If tune offset is set to 50%, tuning will be carried out at 50% of set point and if set to 100%, tuning will be carried out at 100% of the set point. Parameter 7. Control Hysteresis This parameter will appear only if selected control Default action is Default value on of hysteresis is 2 degree centigrade. It sets the dead band between on and off switching of the output. Parameter 8. Delay. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is on off. Default value of delay is 0. It set the main output restart time. If set to 0 output will be switched without delay. Parameter 9. Output off. This parameter will appear only if selected control action is PID. With this parameter output will be completely off after the set point plus offset value. By default value of output off is disable. If disable, output will act depending upon the PID value after set point achieved. Default set point offset value is 0. This is last parameter of control auto tuning mode. Press set key to, to enter in auto tuning mode. mode. Press and hold shift key for minimum 3 seconds. Parameter 4. Cycle time. This parameter will appear only if selected By default control auto action tuning is PID. function is not initiated. Its default value is no. Auto tuning function can be initiated by setting this parameter to yes. During auto tuning, controller learns the process characteristics by itself and calculates required P, I, and D values. User can cancel or abort this feature by setting this parameter to no. Thank you for watching.